One thing I've always loved about shipwrecks is the fact that you can look back at pictures of a historical ship before it sank and compare them to how it looks now, either well preserved or completely collapsed. In my opinion, the best shipwreck to do this with is Britannic, since she is so well preserved that practically nothing has changed between her time on the surface and her time on the bottom. Because of this, all of the most recognizable parts of Britannic are still just as recognizable now on a wreck. Here are some examples. This image that you are looking at now is, in my opinion, the most recognizable part of Britannic's wreck. What you are specifically seeing is part of the port side superstructure and a little bit of the hull, but what makes this so recognizable is the fact that you can see this part of the ship in almost every known picture of Britannic before she sank. This image, for example, is a wide shot of Britannic's port side, where you can vividly see the area of the superstructure and even spacing of the windows, which was unique to Britannic. Another very recognizable part of Britannic is the forward superstructure, which on the wreck is just as recognizable, albeit with a wheelhouse gone and the bridge wing slightly deteriorated. In this picture of the forward superstructure, you can see in the foreground one of the two cargo cranes located on the well deck, which were used to lower luggage into the holds below. Here is an image of one on the Olympic. This is a picture of the very bow tip or the prow, which is quite destroyed after what it went through to get to where it resides today. In this picture, you can clearly see the forward anchor crane which was used to help raise the third anchor. In this picture, you can also see the port side anchor. On the forwardmost part of the boat deck, on the port side, lies the children's playroom, the grand staircase entrance, and the officer's quarters. As far as I know, there isn't any close-up documentation of this part of the ship before she sank, but you can still slightly see it in some wide shot pictures of the port or starboard side. This part of the ship is very well documented on the wreck though, as you can see from these pictures. Just one deck below the A-deck promenade is another entrance to the Grand Staircase Lobby, which is well documented as well. A little detail that you can find on the forward boat deck is a little staircase which was used by the captains and officers. The Britannic had two second class staircases, one of which on the boat deck and the other on the B deck. The boat deck staircase can slightly be seen here, practically unchanged from what it looked like on the surface. The B deck staircase can vividly be seen here, with the A deck promenade entrance in the background. Just forward of the staircases are some of the large mechanical davits, which, for the ones still up, are surprisingly intact. You can also see what I believe is the tank room, slightly forward. In this picture of Britannic's stern, you can see the rudder, part of the fantail, and the propellers. While there isn't any known pictures of Britannic's propellers before she sank, there are of the rudder, as it was stalled when her hull was still being built, giving us some images of her while she was still in the gantry. Just above the rudder lies the fantail stern, which can be seen here in more detail.
In this picture of Britannic's forecastle deck, you can see a sliver of the mass as well as many of her deck features. There aren't many images of Britannic's forecastle deck before she sinks, so here's one from when she was still being built in 1914. In this picture of the boat deck, you can not only see the first funnel casing in the foreground, but also the grand staircase dome in the background. Yet again, there aren't many close-up images of this part of the ship, so here is a mock-up of what it would have looked like. For the longest time, Britannic's bell remained undiscovered until the most recent dive when it was finally found. Very recently, I hit 300 subscribers, and to celebrate, here are some bonus images of Britannic's wreck to end the video.